today we uh, are like to uh, start the next session uh, of this digital system design course uh, that is the next topic will be on the code conversions base co uh, conversion methods so now here uh, in the previous lecture we learned about different type of number systems introduction to digital systems basically and uh, why digital systems are important uh, compared to the analog systems and all and uh, how the uh, noise uh, can be uh, noise and noise uh, interruption can be uh, very very less comparatively in the digital systems and all these things we have discussed in the previous lecture so now uh, let us talk about the base conversion methods so now what are the different uh, bases which we have looked in the previous lecture are decimal binary octal and hexadecimal is the new one which we are going to look today okay so in the decimal uh, when when i say the word uh, decimal then by default the base will be 10 base will be 10 means like whenever i write any number here within the brackets i'll be writing any number and beneath that i'll write the write it as base 10 number okay likewise like whenever i represent any particular number in base 2 that is in binary i'll write it as base 2 that is here base is 2 okay likewise in the octal also in octal like whenever i write it like i'll say it as 8 base 8 and finally hexadecimal numbers here i'll write it as base 60 okay so now like whenever we look at any particular numbers uh, in general in general in real numbers in mathematics or any numbers whichever we deal in day to day life we'll be coming across mostly are the decimal numbers only but this computers or the machines, whichever we are uh, dealing with, that is, say, for example, we are dealing with any IC, ICs or any microprocessors, microcontrollers as such. In that, in those type of uh, processors, they use different types of uh, different types of uh, uh, bases. For example, in microprocessors here, in microprocessors based systems, the particular system or microcontroller based uh, ICs. Okay, the IC will be like this and it will be having different uh, dual in package uh, line. So, will be there and uh, each the, each pin will be having its own uh, its own functionality. But all the all the functionality will be dealt like uh, most of the multiplication, arithmetic, logical operations will be dealt uh, by giving some code to that one, some giving some logic to that one. And while we are giving the logic, we will also input some numbers also that is inputs also will be giving it to this thing so those things can mostly comes under this particular hexadecimal only so instead of using by uh, decimal numbers we will be giving hexadecimal numbers so for this purpose we need to know the conversion between from one form to the other form that is decimal to binary binary to decimal de binary to octal octal to binary and hexadecimal to binary binary to hexadecimal likewise again decimal to octal decimal to binary decimal to hexadecimal all these things we need to know uh, like how the conversion happens within the particular cpu we need to know uh, so that we can uh, we can know the logic behind this thing how to use it like if i write any particular number as nine how to represent this particular nine number in decimal form uh, sorry in binary form or how to represent it in the octal form all these things we need to learn prior so that's why now in this present class we'll be discussing about conversion between number bases that is from decimal to binary binary to octal octal to binary and vice versa like this so let's see now first uh, like the name is binary here and the radix the radix is nothing but here base so in for binary numbers the base is two and the number of digits which we have are Two, that is to say 0 and 1. So, it will be taking the digits 0 and 1. Other than 0 and 1, you won't find any other number in a binary number. Okay. So, now these digits only will be like even if it is 9, 10, 11, 12 or any other number, it will be having only zeros as well as 1s in the binary numbers. Okay. If, when you move on to the octal. Octal means name itself says that it is 8. So, then here like if there is it is an octal number it takes the numbers from 0 to 7 0 to 
7. So like if you count all these numbers, the total number of digits in this particular octal will be 8 numbers only. So again, it will be comprising of the numbers 0 to 7 only. Likewise here, next is the decimal. Decimal in the sense 10. 10 means like it takes the numbers from 0 to 9. Okay, when you count the numbers again, it will be 10 over there. So, a decimal number will be comprising of the digits only from 0 to 9. Octal number will be comprising of the digits from 0 to 7. Whereas, binary number will be comprising of the digits only 0 and 1. And next comes the very important thing that is hexadecimal numbers. As the name suggests, it's a, it is hexa, hexa 6 and decimal that is 10. So, together it is 16 radix or 16 base. When you look at this particular number, Generally, it has numbers from, it should have numbers from 0 to 15, 0 to 15. But the thing is here, after number 9, after number 9, instead of writing it as 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, what we'll do is, we'll represent in the form of capital alphabets. Capital alphabets in the sense, 10 corresponds to capital A, 11 corresponds to capital B, 12 corresponds to capital C, 13 D. 14e, 15f, like this. Okay, so this is the way to represent the hexadecimal. Okay, now I think from this discussion you can understand that if I have a radix n, the corresponding digits will be from 0 to n minus 1. Right. So now, if the radix is 2, corresponding digits will be 0 to 2 minus 1, that is 1, that is 0, 1. Next is, if the radix is 8, that is n equals to 8, then the numbers will be 0 to n minus 1, that is 8 minus 1, 7 numbers, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, like that. So even if I have any other radix also, other than octal, binary, decimal and hexadecimal also, we just take it in the form of a radix n, that is like for radix 5 for example, if I take radix 5, then n equals to 5 and I will be having numbers from n equals to my, uh, 0 to n minus 1, that is 5 minus 1, that is 0, here it is 4, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. Okay. So, in this way, we can just take it over there. So, here radix n will be having the number of digits from 0 to n minus 1. Okay. So, these are the numbers which we have in the binary octal decimal uh, uh, next to hexadecimal uh, um, basis or number systems over here. Now, let us look at the decimal numbers, how it is represented in the binary form. Okay. So, before that, like whenever I write any particular binary number, so what it is like is here, the first digit of the binary number, binary itself, it says that it is 2, the base is 2. So as I'm taking, the, uh, here I'll consider the, uh, the digits to be LSB, lower significant bit, and this is the MSB, that is most significant bit. Here it is LSB, and this is MSB. Okay, so now here, when I consider these things here, I'll start from the LSB side. I'll start from the LS LSB side, low, least significant bit side. So now, how I'll start is, I'll start with the number 0 only. Okay, as mostly, we are starting with the number 0 only. Here, the least significant bit will be having the location of 2 power 0. Okay, likewise, next one will be 2 power 1. Next one will be 2 power 2. Next one will be 2 power 3. Next one will be 2 power 4. Next one will be 2 power 5. Like this, so on. It, it, it goes so on. Okay. So now, when I consider this thing here, 2 powers in 0 value is 1. Okay. 2 power 1 value is 2. 2 power 3, 2 value is 4. 2 power, sorry, 2 power 2 value is 4. 2 power 3 value is 8. 2 power 4 value is 16. So now, if I consider any particular decimal digits, okay, here, if I consider any particular decimal digits here, how many numbers I am going to consider? 0 to 15. 15 is the largest number which I have here, okay. So now, the, I want binary presentation of each of this number, uh, a, like or each of this decimal number. So when I take this into consideration, how I can do is here, what is the sum of all these numbers? 
the sum of all these numbers I need to consider. So that 8 plus 4 is 12, 12 plus 2 is 14, 14 plus 1 is 15. Okay, these many locations are enough for me to represent the highest number over here. Okay, so why we are considering this 16, 8, 4, 2, 1 convention is here. Instead of doing the regular, uh, we have basically we have uh, two methods we have for, uh, for converting decimal to binary. One is uh, considering in this way that is uh, representing each whether uh, I should take this number or uh, I should take this position into consideration or not. I should take this position into consideration or not. Like that. And the other one is that uh, I need to divide each number. I need to divide each number, which we'll be discussing in the next uh, next upcoming slides over there. So, but, but before that, uh, at least we need to have a uh, some like basic idea like how we um, go, uh, how we have written this particular binary numbers over here. So, for that purpose, like whenever I try, whenever we try to write any particular uh, decimal number into binary numbers, wh what we need to consider is highest large uh, like um, biggest number or largest number here you need to consider. So now to write this 15, I need to have this location to be 1. That is 1 into 2 to the power of 3 I can write. Next, again 4 also. 1 into 2 to the power of 2. 1. 1 into 2 to the power of 1. 1 into 2 to the power of 0. So the largest number will be having the binary value of 1, 1, 1, 1. Again we will learn this but anyhow how we are writing it, uh, we are looking in this one. Okay, so the decimal representation of the binary number is basically 0, 0, 0, 0 because it doesn't have any value. So directly 0, 0, 0 only I will be representing it. Next for 1, I have 0, 0, 0, 1. 2, I have 0, 0, 1, 0. 3, I have 0, 0, 1, 1. 4, I have 0, 1, 0, 0. 5, 0, 1, 0, 1. So on up to 15, that is 1, 1, 1, 1. Okay, this is the dec decimal to binary representation table basically. How we are converting each and every decimal number to binary number? Again, we will discuss in the next upcoming slides also. Okay, next if we consider any particular decimal and also conversion to the hexadecimal. Here the hexadecimal highest number is 15 which is represented as F in the hexadecimal representation. So when you look at the table here, I can write 0 as 0, 0, 0, 0. Hexadecimal also it is 0. This continues till 1, 0, 0, 1. 1, 0, 0, 1 naturally it is 9 and whereas here 10 is represented as 1010 in binary and in hexadecimal the number is A. Okay. And next number is B, C, D, E, F till I get the 15 number over there. Okay. So this is basically the binary representation hexadecimal versus uh, decimal representation of the digits in uh, in three in three three bases over here. That is the decimal, binary, and hexadecimal basis. So now let us look at how this particular decimal number is converted into binary number. Just now we discussed that like 0, 0 is represented as 0, 0, 0, 0. 1 is represented as 0, 0, 0, 1. 2 is represented as 0, 0, 1, 0. So now let's look at this like how we will be getting this particular 0, 0, 1, 0, 1, 0 and so on up to 15 number. So first thing is, first method is use repeated subtraction. That is subtract largest power of 2 then next largest. So for example, let us consider, let's like see if I look at this particular powers of 2 as we as I already told from LSB we will be considering this powers of 2 that is 2 power 0 to 2 power n in like n number of uh, digits I can have. So 2 power n. So now if I take that 2 power 1. 0, 2 power exponent is here 0, 2 power 0 is 1, 2 power 1 is 2, 2 power 2 is 4, 2 power 3 is 3, 2 power 4 is 16, 5, 32. That is here nothing but n is the exponent, 2 power n is the actual number, power of 2, whichever we have in that particular position. So now first what we will do is here, here I have all this numbers, 2 power 0, 2 power 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, so on up to 2 power n. Okay. So now, suppose we have a number 1564. By looking at this number, all we generally we can say it as it can be any octal number or any particular uh, decimal number also. But here we have the base to be 10. 
here the base is 10 that's why we'll say it as a decimal number so now as soon as i see this particular 1564 number according to the method what i need to do is i need to subtract this particular 1564 with the with particular largest number of two that is possible okay so once i look at the previous slide here the largest number is 1024 and the next one is here again 2 after 2 power 10 next one i'll be having 2 power 11 so here it is 1024 and the next one is next to the power of 11 is 2048 okay so now as you can see 1564 sorry 64 it is greater than 2 power 10 okay but 1564 again whether it is like ever, which number which highest digit i need to uh, subtract it with, that is my choice so i i need to uh, i need to find that particular largest uh, number so here by, after 2 power 10 next number i have is 2058 which is very very greater than this particular 1564 so I, this is less than 2 power 11 that is equals to 2048 so first step is to subtract 1564 with 1024 minus 1024 that is largest largest power of 2 here it is 2 power 10 that is to be subtracted so then the first step what we will do is here the first step 1564 minus 2 to the power of 10 that is equals to 540 okay so now here are one in the 2 power 10 position so now what i have is in the 10th position in the 10th position i need to place it as 1 okay because i am considering the 10th position over here which is 1024 1024 means 1, 2 to the power of 10 1024 means 2 to the power of 10 this 10 is the position n okay that is the exponent over there so what i need to do i need the 10th position okay next one I got the number to be 540. Okay. If I look at the powers of 2, the next possible largest value which is less than 542, which is less than this particular 542 is 512. Okay. 512. So now what I will do is subtract 512. That is 540 minus 512, which is nothing but 2 to the power of 9 here. 2 to the power of 9. So the resultant is 28. Okay, so now the next number, I got the 10th position, I got the 9th position also. Both positions I am going to subtract from this one. So, next number again, I can write it as 1. Another one, okay. And next coming is here, 28. Okay, if you look at the 28 number, after 512, after 512, I have the number 256. Next, I have 128. Next, I have uh, something like 50. Sorry, 64. Here, 64. Next is 32. And next is 16. Okay. All these numbers are greater than 28. Right. So, I should not consider any of these numbers. I should not consider any of these particular numbers. And next, I need to subtract it by 16 only. Okay. So, here, I have the next step to be 2 to the power of 8. That is 256, 2 to the power of 7, that is 128, 2 to the power of 6, that is uh, 64, 2 to the power of 5, 32 are greater than 28. So, all these positions, 8th position, 7th position, 6th position, 5th position, so all these position has to be zeros because we are not going to subtract with any of these numbers. So, directly straight away I will be having 2 to the 8th position to be 0, 7th position to be 0, 6th position to be 0 and 5th position is also 0. Okay. So, we have all zeros in all these positions. Such is the case. Okay. Now, next step is to subtract 28 with the next largest number. That is 28 minus 16. Okay. So, next step is to subtract. That is subtract 16 with 28. So, here the exponent is 4. So, I am successfully subtracting with this number. So, the next number will be here in this particular fourth position. I need to put it as 1. So, that number 1 is here. The fourth position. Next, what is the number that I got as 12? 
So now after 16, the next number is 8. 8 is absolutely less than 12. That is 12 is greater than 8. So I can subtract it by 8 also. So in the next step, I will subtract it by 8. That is 12 minus 8, that is to the power of 3. Okay. So now for at the position 3, I can place it as again 1. Fine. Next, again the number which I got is 4. Okay. 4. The next number is again 4, which is equal. So successfully I can subtract this number also because I don't get any negative number here. So what I'll do is here, I'll sub subtract with the 4 value. That is the position at 2. At position 2, I'll place it as 1. Okay. And now the result ends 0. Okay. After 0, we don't like even if I subtract, subtract this with 1 also, still you will be getting a negative value. That's why the rest of the value, rest of the positions here, I'm starting with the 10th position here. And the rest of the position here, it is the second position. Now, first position will be equals to 0. And thus, again, 0th position will also be considered. And likewise, the resultant will be 1, 1, 0, 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 1, 0, 0. So, this is the resultant binary number which we got from uh, like uh, calculating from this 1, 5, 6, 4. That is using method 1. Okay. That is by subtracting it with the largest, next largest uh, number. And Again, the resultant again will be subtracted with the next largest number. So, so on till we get this particular binary number. Okay. This is the first method to convert the decimal to binary, uh, to convert any decimal number to binary. Okay. Now, let us look at the second method. Okay. So, now in this second method, what we will try to do is here, instead of doing it uh, like in the previous way, what we will try to do is here, this 1564, so this 1564, what we have it as here is a decimal number. So once I have this decimal number, instead of, uh, instead of uh, uh, considering uh, for uh, subtracting purpose, subtracting with the next largest number, all these things, what I will do is 1564 is there, right? So I will divide it with the binary base. Binary base is nothing but 2, okay? So I will divided. So, first possibility is 2 7s are 14. There is a, then there is a, a 16 will be there next. 2 8s are 2 2s are. So, what is the reminder here? 0. Okay. Likewise, 2 3s are 9s are 1s. Reminder is again 0. So, this goes on like this. This goes on like this. As you can see here, here, here in this one case, reminder is 0. And in the next case also, reminder is 0. Then again, I divide uh, 391 with 2. 2, 1s are 2. 2, 9s are 18. Again, I, what, I, what is left over is 11. 11 will be left over. 2, 5s are 10. Then the reminder is here, 1. Reminder is here, 1. So now, again, 97 is here. Again, 2, 2s are, sorry, 2, 9s are 18. 2, 7s are 14 and the reminder is 1. And again, 2, 24 is on. Okay. Next. Again, 24 is here. 24, 2, 12. Then the reminder is 0. 2, 6 is on. Reminder is 0. 2, 3. I mean, three, last 3 is left over. Again, for 3 also, I need to do I need to do it again. So, such is the case here. And then after, after I get finally the reminder to be 0. Then, this is the end. This is the end till I get the reminder 0. Then again, what I'll get uh, in the next case is 2, 1s are 2. Again, I'll be getting the reminder to be 1. Okay. So now, again, after getting this particular thing, what I need to write is, I need to write it in the reverse order. Reverse order of this thing. Okay. okay anyways, let me write it once again here. Radix number 1. Okay, so 1, 5, 6, 4, 2, 7, 8, 2, reminder 0, 2, 3, 91, reminder to be 0, 2, 1, 95, reminder to be 1, 2, 97, 
reminder to be one so on like this it will be constant so now from from down to up we need to write these numbers in the reverse order so once i write that particular in the reverse order here in the last two steps i have two 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 ones up and the reminder is r equals to 1 okay so i need to consider this particular number also i need to consider that particular number also so how i'll write it here is i'll start from here and i'll write it till here first okay first number is again 1 this one is here and again next number is 1 again 0 0 this 0 comes here and next is 0 okay till here it is done. now again come back and this is the continuation of the reverse order so next number is zero this zero will be here next is 1 next is 1 next is 1 next is 0 next is 0 so such is the case so like this in this way also we can find the particular decimal to binary conversion first method is to do by subtracting each and every method uh, i mean every number with the largest power of 2 the next method is to do in the division method it's uh, uh, comparatively this method is very very easy that is repeated division by radix method repeated division by radix method is comparatively easier compared to the previous method okay uh, let us take one more example here to see how this particular decimal to binary conversion takes place here so the number which i have is 625 and i want to convert into binary number so now i'll take it as 2 Two threes are six. Two one. I mean here the remainder is zero again. So that's why two ones are two. Two twos are four. Remainder is one. Okay. Next two ones are two fives are two six are. Remainder is zero. Two sevens are two eights are. Remainder is zero. Two threes are six. Two nines are eighteen. Remainder is again zero. Next, two ones are two. Okay, two nines are eighteen. Remainder is one. Next, two nines are eighteen. Remainder is one. Again, two fours are eight. Remainder is zero. Two twos are. Remainder is zero. Next is two ones are. Remainder is again zero. Okay, so this is the way we are like how we will be doing this particular um, division by using division method. How we now uh, what I have to do? I'll start from here and I'll write till here. Okay, and the resultant number will be one zero zero. Pardon, uh, here one zero 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 one one zero zero one. Okay, zero one. So now here, by using this particular method, you can easily get the uh, binary number, the conversion from the decimal to binary number. We also have another method also to write this particular uh, binary to decimal conversion. That is representing each number. Like I can consider that eight four two one methodology also in order to convert this thing. So for that purpose, I what I need to have is here till which till which power I need to move. till which power i need to move and i can calculate this thing so in this way we can find the decimal to binary conversion so the other method which i told right now is that some uh, converting binary to decimal some weighted powers of 2 using decimal arithmetic so now 625 is the number okay when i add when i add minimum minimum powers of 2 i need to get this particular 625 So, how to you add minimum power software? For example, like if I consider all these uh, all these numbers, that is five, twelve, sixty four, thirty two, sixteen one. The addition of all these particular numbers will be equals to six twenty five. All these are again power software only. All these are again power software. Okay, the combination is possible in other methods also, but is but this is most uh, sophisticated and uh, uh, that what to say like. Uh, um, Precise method, precise method in which like uh, I'll be having this is nothing but power of two to the power of uh, to the power of uh, here I'll start from here two to the power of zero two to the power of four two to the power of five two to the power of six two to the power of seven to the power two to the power of nine. Okay, so now 
what I need to do is I need to put one in the ninth position. Do uh, and next I don't have any eighth and seventh position, so I'll put it as zero zero. And next I need to put one in the sixth position. And next again fifth position is also one. And next again fourth position is also one. And next positions three, two, one. First positions are zeros. And again last position as one. So the resultant will be one zero zero one 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 zero 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 one. Okay. But this method is better to you be to be used when you have smaller numbers only. When you have very smaller numbers, if there is a number like one five six four as we have discussed previously, it will be very troublesome because I need to find a proper combination that is proper proper sum of combinations. I need to find it, and then only I'll be able to uh, uh, write it in this form. This one five six four in this form. It is better to use the uh, the particular division method in uh, to convert this particular decimal number into binary. Okay. And also to convert this particular decimal number into binary again, even for hexadecimal also, even when you can when you want to convert decimal number into hexadecimal also, instead of dividing with two, hexadecimal is base is nothing but sixteen. At that time you can use sixteen also. Okay, you need to divide with sixteen, and then you will be getting the numbers, and the resultant number will be again the hexadecimal number only. Okay, to divide. I mean to convert any decimal number into binary octal or any hexadecimal number. Divide that is repeated division has to be done with respect to the base. Okay, so with respect to the base in the sense like when when you are converting into binary, to do uh, like perform the repeated division by two, and when you want to convert into octal number, perform the repeated division by eight, and when you want to convert into hexadecimal, perform repeated division by Sixteen. Okay, so this is a method to convert the particular. So far, we have discussed how to convert a decimal number into binary. So now let's look at this particular another example. Here, the difference is here. Previously, I had only forty six. That is some ration or uh, some uh, from integer value I had. But now what I am doing is I am taking some decimal number also. That is to say, some uh, floating point number also I am taking into consideration. That is zero point six eight seven five is also considered. Okay, say so it is not the same case with the uh, for normal uh, rational number and this particular uh, floating point number. So forty six is okay. Forty six is okay because I can just do the same procedure for this one. What I'll do is forty six is here two two za four two three za six. Remainder is zero. Two one za two 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 za uh, sorry two one za two two one za two and the resultant I mean remainder is one. Two five is a ten. Remainder is one. Two two is a four. Remainder is one. Again two one is a two. Remainder is zero. So how I'll write it as one zero one 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 zero. That will be the decimal part of the particular sorry binary part of the forty six. So how I'll write it is here forty six by two twenty three remainder zero. 23 by 2 remainder uh, sorry is equal to 11 remainder 1 11 by 2 5 remainder 1 5 by 2 2 remainder 1 2 by 2 1 remainder 0 1 by 2 0 again even uh, you can also do with this one also but that is not required yeah we can stop here we can stop here okay i i'll start writing from here to here here okay, 101110 okay now let's look at this particular decimal part okay 0.6875 okay so for this purpose what we need to do is we need to multiply with this particular number so now first uh, first 46 it is con con like uh, the corresponding binary the corresponding binary value is 101110 to the base 2 Base two is nothing but binary form. Now let us look for this particular zero point six eight seven five two base two. So how are we going to do it? Is here I will multiply each of this particular number with two, okay? Power of two. And as you can see here, I'll multiply. I multiply with zero point six eight seven five into two, and the resultant value is one point three seven five zero. So now what I need to do is here when I multiply it as one, I'll be getting one point three seven five zero. Okay, this one will be the corresponding binary representation, first representation, 
and this subsequent 0.3750 I need to carry out to the next system. Okay, for multiplying it with 2. Next step for multiplying with the 2. So now I'll take this 0.3750 and I'll multiply with 2. Okay, so first value I got 1. And he, as I have here 1, that is why I got it as 1 here. Okay, while converting into binary. And next again 0 0.3750 into 2. Correspondingly, I'll be getting 0 0.7500. And here, what is the value? Like before the decimal, non-decimal value is here, 0. That is here, I'll be putting it as 0. Next, 0 0.7500. Okay, the resultant is 0 0.7500, right? So, I'll multiply again with 2. I'll be getting 1.50. Then 1 will be the corresponding conversion, base con base conversion. Okay. Then again, I'll take this 0 0.5 to the next step. Then I'll get 0 0.5 into 2. Then again, 0 0.5 into 2 is again 1. I'll take this 1 as a base conversion uh, to binary binary digit. And the next uh, leftover value is 0 0.0000, which is equal to again 0 only. So, um, like whichever number of times I multiply something with 0, it will be always be 0 itself. So, that is why whenever I get this 0 here in the next step to, multi to be multiplied with 2, I will stop at this place. I will stop at this place. Okay. So, now what I will do next is here. In the, in, in the previous process here, while we are dividing, when I write the particular uh, uh, binary format of this one, I will move from I mean, bottom to top. That is, I'll move from bottom to top and I'll write the corresponding binary value. That is, I'll start from here. That is, 1, next one is 0, 1, 1, 1, 0, the base 2. Okay. Whereas, in this case, I'll go from top to bottom. Okay. So, correspondingly, the value which I have is 1, 0, 1, 1 to the base 2. Okay. And as I have a decimal over here, I have to put a decimal point here. Okay. So, the corresponding read off of the forward order is 0 0.1011 to the base 2. Okay. Now, what we'll do is we'll combine both these things. We'll combine this one and this one or this one and this one. Okay. So, when I combine and write it as uh, when I join together with the radix point, I'll be getting corresponding binary format of 46.6875 to the base 10 to be 101111 0.1011. I'm going to get it. Actually, here I think uh, 10 is extra. So, anyhow, 101110.1011. 1, to the base 2, you'll be getting. Okay, so this is the way to convert a particular value that is either it is a decimal value, non decimal value, that or an integer value or a floating point value into a binary format. Okay, for the most easiest with method and the widely accepted method and widely used method is the repeated division method to convert any particular decimal number to another binary format, octal format, or hexadecimal format. Okay, so this is an example for the floating point number. Okay. So, to convert that into decimal, use decimal arithmetic to sum the weighted powers of 2. Okay. Now, decimal to binary conversion is done. Uh, now, we look at the binary to decimal conversion also. Both are possible, right? Decimal to binary is possible, binary to decimal is possible. So, now let's look at like how it is possible over here. So, if I take this particular number, okay, 1, 1, 0, 1, 0. When I look at this number, I can see it as this is the base, uh, some zero value, but its location is at the zeroth location with the exponent power to be value to be 2 power 0 and here 2 power 1 and here 2 power 2, 2 power 3, 2 power 4. For zeroth location, first location, second location, third location, fourth location, corresponding values which can occur in the decimal format are 2 to the power of 4, 2 to the power of 3, 2 to the power of 2, 2 to the power of 1, 2 to the power of 0. So, subsequently what we will do, just like the way uh, where we have performed the um, I mean decimal to binary conversion, here also what I will do is 0 into 2 power 0 plus 1 into 2 power 1 plus 0 into 2 power 2 plus 1 into 2 power 3 plus 1 into 2 to the power of 4. 
So as such here, 1 into 2 to the power of 4, first one, 1 into 2 to the power of 3, second one, 0 into 2 to the power of 2, third one, 1 into 2 to the power of 4th and 0 into 2 to the power of 0, 0th location. So like this, when I add up all these things and the resultant will be 26 value. Okay, if you have some doubt whether this value is correct or not, again you can perform the reverse process that is 2 1s are, 2 3s are, 0, 2 6s are, 12, 1, 2 3s are, 6, uh, remainder is 0, 2 1s are, 2, remainder is 1. So once you write it back, 1 1 0 1 0, 1 1 0 1 0 is the number. Okay, so this is the way one of the method you can use to convert binary to decimal format. Okay, now let us look at this thing like how you can convert the binary word, uh, binary number to the hexadecimal number. First method is here divide the binary number into four digits. So now, for example, the given number is still here. Okay, there is a given binary number where I have 1100001, 1, 0, 1, 0, 0, 0 is the number. Okay, hex is, hexadecimal bias is 16, binary base is 2 and here 2, which power is 16, like a 2 power of, uh, uh, 2 power n equals to 16 if I write it, n equals to 4 I will be getting because 2 power 16 equals to 2 power 4. Okay. Because of this reason, n equals to 4. So now, 4 digits of binary representation is equal to 1 number in the hexadecimal representation. Okay. So now for this purpose, what I need to do is, I need to group 4, 4 bits of this binary number and then I need to write the corresponding hexadecimal value of this particular 4, 4 bits, 4, 4 bits of this particular number. So now, how I need to do uh, the division is I need to start from LSB side. I need to start from the LSB side. Okay. So now let's start it here. So here first 1, 2, 3, 4. Okay. 1, 2, 3, 4. That is 1, 1, 0, 0. So here I'll divide it as one part. Next 1, 0, 0, 0. First, second, third, fourth. Again, I'll divide it till here. Okay. And next. 0, 1, 1. I have only 3 digits here. I have only 3 digits, 3 digits in this, in this group. So what I can do is I can add extra 0 here. I can add extra 0. Because adding 0 to the most significant bit, it doesn't make any change in the result. Because uh, directly what we'll do is 0 into 2 to the power of something, which will be again equals to 0. It doesn't make any change in the, per in this particular value of this particular hexad, I mean binary number. Okay, so well, again after this what I will be doing is substitute the hex digits for each group. Okay, so 1, 1, 0, 0. Okay, first position is 2 power 0 we already know, second position is 2 power 1, third position is 2 power 2, the fourth, third, uh, fourth position is 2 power 3. So how I will write it is here 1 into 2 to the power of 3, 1 into 2 to the power of 3 is 8, 1 into 2 to the power of 2 which is 4, 0 into 2 to the power of 1, 0, 0 into 2 to the power of 0, 0, okay, 8 plus 4, that is equals to 12, okay, it is 12. If it is a decimal format, happily I can write it as 12, it is a decimal digit, like decimal representation, I can write it as 12 itself, but this is a hexadecimal representation, then after 9, after 9, it will, it is not 10, Subsequent value is not 10. Instead of that, this particular value is A. After A, again B. Next is C. Next is D. Likewise up to E and F. Okay. So, here it is 10, 11, 12. Okay. So, the representation of 12 in hexadecimal format is equals to C. Okay. So, this particular first digit will be this particular first group will be equivalent to C. Okay. Likewise, the next representation that is 0, 0, 0, 1. So, if I write it in the 8421, 8421 representation again, only this position is there. So, now for this position, the corresponding value is 1. The rest of the places are zeros. So, 0 plus 1. Okay. So, now the resultant is 1 again. Okay. Next. 0, 1, 1, 0. Okay. Here it is 2 to the power of 0 into 0, 0. 2 to the power of 1 into 1, 
2 2 to the power of 2 into 1 4 and last one is 0 so 4 plus 4 plus 2 here 4 plus 2 is again 6 6 is a hexadecimal number only directly I will represent it by 6 so 6 1 C will be the so paired with zeros if the if there if it is an unsigned number like and one more thing like while while I'm going to add this zero here extra zero I need to check whether it is a signed number or unsigned number if it is a signed number most significant bit value will be equal to one which represents it is a negative number so I need to be careful whether it is a signed conversion or unsigned conversion so in this example let us consider it to be signed number and I'm going to add a I mean pad a zero button. So, paired with sign bit if a sign number. If it is a sign number means like if it is a negative number. If it is a negative number, then I need to add it with the 1 instead of 0. Okay. So, correspondingly, I will be getting it as 6, 1, C to the base 16. And how we got it, I already discussed. So, this is the way to convert any particular binary number into a hexadecimal number. Okay. Again, how to convert a particular hexadecimal into binary is again the same way. We'll represent each of this, each of this digit in using four, four digits in the binary. Okay. So, because I have the interchange link like two and two to the power of four. In between these two things, I have some relation that is the powers over here. That's why whichever I have, I can just use it like if it is represented in binary, I'll divide it into four, 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 four groups. And if it is in uh, hexadecimal to binary conversion, I'll represent each hexadecimal digit in four number, four digits in the binary format. So C is represented as one, one, zero, zero. Like if you look at the notation over there, eight four basically eight four two one notation we will say. Okay, that is this is two power zero, two power one, two power two, two power three here. So now if I take this one, most possible one C is equals to twelve. C is equals to twelve. So when I have this twelve, two in order to get twelve, the easiest way is adding eight and four. If I add eight and four, easily I can get. It. So eight plus four means I need to. Write as 1 in this position, 1 in this position and the rest of the positions are 0. So, same is here. Same is here. Okay. 1, 1, 0, 0. And again, I need to start from LSB itself. Next is 9. Okay. In this 8, 4, 2, 1 notation, by adding 8 and 1, easily I can get 9 digit. Okay. So, the corresponding value will be 1, 0, 0, 1. Okay. 1 here and 1 here. Okay. 8 plus 1, 4, 9. So, correspondingly that value will be here. Okay. And next is E. E is nothing but like 14 in, per, in decimal form. So, it, in order to get 14, how many numbers I need to add is here. 8 plus 4, 12. 12 plus 2, 14. So, I need to have this digit, this digit and this position to be 1, 1, 1, 1 and the last one is 0. So, that such is the case 1, 1. 1, 0 and here I can write it as 1, 1, 1, 0. Okay. And last one is 1. So, in 8, 4, 2, 1 again, only first position has to be 1, the rest of the positions to be 0. So, 0, 0, 0, 1. So, here I go. So, here when you are converting the particular binary number to the hexadecimal, divide each group, each group of, uh, for, like divide the particular binary number into 4, 4, 4 bit subgroups and Correspondingly, that four bits will be represented as each hexadecimal number. Likewise, in this particular hexadecimal to binary conversion, represent each each digit or each digit in this particular hexadecimal number with corresponding binary number. Okay. Again, the uh, as I already as we already discussed previously. Uh, Another method to convert this particular hexadecimal to binary is here. Is here. First, I can convert it into hexadecimal to decimal and then to binary. This method also I can do. So now what I can do is here decimal to hexadecimal and uh, hexadecimal to decimal. And in this way also, like uh, we can perform this one. But most easiest way is to Write it in four four group four four as a four four digits in using binary and uh, do the rest of the things. Now let us look at decimal to hexa conversion, hexadecimal conversion here. So that is by using repeated division by radix method. 
repeated division by plant x method. So now when I have this number 1, 5, 6, 4, previously what we converted into is into is binary. Now we are going to convert into hexadecimal. So that's why I am going to divide it by 16. Straight away I am going to divide it by 16. So 16 into 97 if I get uh, with a reminder, with a reminder 12. Okay. The reminder 12. That is 5, 15, 64. Then 16, 6 are 96, reminder to be 1. And 6 is nowhere possible to be divided by 16. Even if, I, if we do also, we will get the same reminder to be 6. That is here, If even if I try to do it, 16 zeros are 0. Reminder is 6. And 12, I can write it as C in hexadecimal form. So, as I write it, it is 6, 1, C to the base 16. So, whenever we need to convert any number, uh, like any uh, decimal number into any radix, we need to do repeated division that by that particular radix itself. So, here it is 16. Previously, it was the case for binary conversion also. Next, let us move to the conversion of binary to hexadecimal octal conversion. Okay, we looked at uh, binary to hexa conversion and binary to decimal conversion and now in this discussion we will uh, learn about octal conversion also. And before everything, let us take another example that is 1001111001. This number I want to convert into from binary to hexadecimal or octal number initially. So now let us take it as octal number initially. Octal means 2 to the 8. Octal means 8, which can be represented as 2 to the power of 3. Okay, that is 2 is the base for binary and 3 is the power here for this particular octal number. So, what I previously we discussed that like whenever I need to convert uh, in a, any binary number into hexadecimal, I need to divide it into 4, four bit subgroups. 4 bits, like each group should be consisting of 4 bits in this one. So, now likewise in this, in this particular case, to convert into octal, each each group should be divided into 3, 3 bits. That is here, I need to divide it into first 3, next 3, next 3. Okay. So now this is, for example, it is an unsigned operation. So directly I will add another 0 here. I will add another 0 here. Okay. As I take these numbers, okay. How the 0, 0, 1 is represented? Okay. Even here I don't require 8, 4, 2, 1 also. Because I, I don't have 4 digits. Rather than that, I have only 3 digits. Okay, I can consider 4 to 1. That is enough. 2 to the power of 0, 2 to the power of 1, 2 to the power of 2 is enough. These locations are enough actually. When I look at from, look from LSB side. Okay. So now, only first location is equals to 1. Only first location equals to 1. So it will be 2 to the power of 0 into 1 plus 0 plus 0 only. 0 into 2, 0 into 4, 0 only. So, correspondingly the value I get is here 2 power 0 into 1 is 1 again. So, I will be getting value as 1. Okay. So, now next value is 1, 1, 0. 1, 1, 0 means first position is non-zero, second position is non-zero, last position is equal to 0. So, I will be getting only 1, 1, 0 in this one. So, that is 4 into 1, 4, 2 into 1, 2, plus 1 into 0, 0. That is equals to 4 plus 2 equals to 6. So, second position is equals to 6. Okay, 4 plus 2 equals to 6. Next one is 0, 1, 1. That is 4, 2, 1 is there. Here, I need, I should not consider the first position and I need to consider 2, 1. So, 0 into 4, 0 plus 2 into 1, 2 plus 1 into 2 power 0 is 1 into 1. That is 1, 1. To 3. So, correspondingly it is 3. And last one is only one digit is there here. Okay. Middle digit that is directly I can write it as 2. So, correspondingly this will be base 8. Okay. 2, 3, 6, 1 in base 8. So, here the resultant is 2, 3, 6, 1 to the base 8. Okay. Like if I, convert, I want to convert it into again back to the binary also, I need to represent each and every number in 3, 3 bits. 3, 3 bits in binary. 1 is represented as 0, 0, 1. 6 is represented as 1, 1, 0. 3 is represented as 0, 0, 0, 1, 1. And finally, 2 is represented as 2, 0, 1, 0. So, like that, we can get it back. Okay. 
So now let's look at the binary to hexa conversion also. Hexa conversion, what I need to do? I need to divide it into four, four digits. First four, second four. And finally, I don't have any number. I'll add it to zero here. So now if I take this into consideration only, first number is there in 8421. Only first number is present. So I can straight away write it as one. And in the second number, I have all, all values to be one, all binary values to be one. So I need to consider all these values. I need to add everything. Okay. 8 plus 4, 12. 12 plus 2, 14. 14 plus 1, 15. So uh, the resultant is equals to 15. But do I have this hexadecimal in, uh, like in hexadecimal, do I have the number 15? Definitely not. So this is represented by F. This is represented by F in the hexadecimal. So the second number is F. And finally, I have 0, 1, 0, 0. So which is only 4 is available here. Okay. So directly I'll write it as 4. Okay. So correspondingly, I'll be getting it as 4 F1 to the base 16. Okay. So this is a way to convert from binary to octal and binary to hexadecimal formats. Next. Again, the conversion is from binary to decimal. So, at that position, what I need to do is, I have different methods. What I can do is, I can multiply with the each, each value to the 2 to the power of 0, 2 to the power of 1, 2 to the power of 2 basis. So, 1, 0, 1 to the base 2 is there. So, 1, 0, 1 is there. So, first position, I had to multiply with 2 to the power of 0. Second position, I need to multiply with 2 to the power of 1. Third position, I need to multiply with 2 to the power of 2. And finally, I need to add all these things. So, after, after, sorry, after multiplying, I need to all this, uh, add all these things. So, finally, 2 to the power of 2 into 1 is 2, sorry, 4 plus 2, in, 2 into 0, 0 plus 2 to the power of 0 again, 1. 1 into 1 is 1. Correspondingly, I will be getting 4 plus 1, 5. 5 to the base 10. Okay. So, like this, we will be getting the particular conversion from binary to decimal, which is the easiest process to convert uh, any particular number from binary to decimal. Okay. And next one is binary to decimal conversion of this particular 64, 63.4. So, just like the way where we have done for uh, uh, normal number, binary to decimal uh, and decimal to binary conversion here. What I need to do is here, 6 into 8 to the power of 1, 3 into 8 to the power of 0, 4 into 8 to the power of minus 1 and again the resultant is 2. Here the base is here, 4, uh, sorry 8. So, as the base is 8, Previously, what we did was here, decimal, uh, sorry, any particular decimal number to binary. When I am doing, uh, converting any number from decimal to binary, at that time, what I have done is, uh, uh, I am multiplied with this 2. Okay, I multiplied it with 2. So, even in the reverse procedure also, in the reverse procedure also, binary to uh, decimal conversion also, what I need to do is, I need to multiply by the particular number. But the thing is, instead of, instead of doing only for this particular 0 0.4 individually, what I need to do is, here, first initially it is as such, that is 6 into 8 to the power of 1 plus 6, 3 into 8 to the power of 0, that is, this is the 0th position. This is first position. As it is 8 radix, it will be 8 to the power of 0, 8 to the power of 1 here. Okay. And next, next number, next number means that is towards LSB, next number will be after 0 to the next, again the next uh, lowest will be minus 1 only. That is minus 1 position over there. So that's why it has to be multiplied by 8 to the power of minus 1. So as you can see, 6 into 8 to the power of 1, 3 into 8 to the power of 0, 4 into 8 to the power of minus 1 and correspondingly, I'll be getting it as 51.5 to the base 10. Okay, so this is a way to convert from, so, sorry, this is not binary to decimal, basically it is octal to decimal. Octal to, how to convert the into octal to decimal. Okay. And the conversion of, uh, again, this is hexa, hexadecimal to, hexadecimal to, so again what I need to do is a into a into 16 to the power of 1 plus 1 into 16 to the power of 0 because this is the first position this is the 0th position base like if I look at the particular value 16 to the power of 0 16 to the power of 1 will be that so now the resultant will be 10 into 
a is equals to 10 in decimal. So that's why 10 into 16 to the power of 1 plus 1 into 16 to the power of 0. And the resultant is 161 to the base 10. So this is the way where we use to convert the particular uh, value like octal value or hexadecimal value into decimal form. Okay. And the next one is decimal to binary octal hexadecimal conversion. So now if I look at the anything here, if I want to convert it by, to by binary, we have already seen. Okay, let's uh, look at that, like how we have done again. So 56 is a number which I need to convert it into binary number. So now 2, 28, reminder 0, 2, 14, reminder 0, 2, 7, za, reminder 0, 2, 3, za, reminder 1, 2, 1, za, reminder 1 and again like 2 zeros are remainder 1. Okay. So now if I write this one, I need to start from here. That is the resultant value will be 1, 1, 1, 0, 0, 0 to the base 2. So 56 can be written in this way to the base 2. Okay. Now again the same thing for octal also. Octal, one method what I can do is here. This 56, this 56, I can straight away con take it and divide it with 8. Okay. And 8 sevens are next year, 0, 8 zeros are result in 7. So in octal I can represent it as 70. And another way to do it is here. Here I will be getting the remainder as 7 zero. So the resultant will be 70 to the base 8. Okay. And other way to do this in here as I already know the binary representation of this 56 here. That is 1 1 1 0 0 0. Okay, now I'll now I can convert into octal again. Okay, to convert a binary number into octal number, what I need to do is I need to divide it into subgroups of three three digits. So now I divided this into three again the next three. So the corresponding value of this one is zero in zero in normal octal. Then again the corresponding value of this particular number that is four two one one into one one. 2 into 1, 2. 1 into 4, 4. 4, 5, 6, 7. Okay. So, this is the answer. So, as you can see, how we can convert is like we can convert the decimal to binary and the corresponding binary number can be converted again to octal number. Same is the case for hexadecimal also. Same is the case for hexadecimal. So, in hexadecimal, what we'll be doing is again, we'll convert into like as I already know this particular number. As I already know this particular number. Directly I can just 1, 1, 1, 0, 0, 0. I can divide it into two parts. So here four digits are there. Here there are no four digits. So I will be adding two more zeros over here. Okay. So correspondingly this one number will be 8. Because it starts from 8, 4, 2, 1. Right. So this number will be 8. And this number will be 3. So in the hexadecimal format I can represent 56 as 38 to the base 60. Okay. So this is it here. This is it for today's lecture. Uh, conversion of base conversion basically where we have discussed about uh, uh, the conversion from binary to different formats that is octal, hexadecimal and uh, decimal and decimal to different formats that is uh, hexadecimal, octal and binary and different methods to do this thing that is uh, division method or uh, subtraction method, repeated division method or uh, multiplication uh, to the powers method. So all these things we have discussed. So I hope everyone understood this class. So let's meet in the next class. Thank you. Like, share and subscribe. Hit the bell icon for more updates.